Well, doing lunch at Candy Cafe in the heart of Old Strathcona. Yes, with the number one media expert in town, Graham Hicks. Yes, I say that because he's been around, man. And I'm going to ask Graham a bunch of questions. He doesn't know what they are yet. And I want Graham's quick comment. And folks, take this as the gospel. Okay, ready, Graham? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, here we go. Number one, new arena, good or bad? Good. Why? Creates downtown atmosphere. It makes us alive. It's worth it. We need an NHL team. What are we without our outwaters? And lots of other stuff. Okay, that's that's great. Number one. Number two, and this is a tricky one. Boom or bust? Are we actually in a boom? Is it a big boom, mini boom, or is it a bust? Or what is it exactly? We're at a period of expansion that's going, and it may not turn into a big boom because the rest of the world is sucking wind. But we're doing very, very well. So we're in a mini boom. Can we say mm. that? Because people don't want to say boom okay. or bust anymore. Mini boom. Mini boom. Mini boom. Mini boom. And it'll last how long? As long as the price of oil stays up. Ah, okay. Now that gets us to question number three. World economic situation. Ooh. Is it as grim as they say? Yes. Why? Because uh, all, because no one's got any money. They spent it all back in 08, 09. They got so now they have to absorb trillions and trillions of dollars worth of debt and they don't have any money. Okay. Number four. You can't spend when you don't got no money. Well, and everybody's done that too. Don't they say that also Canadians are the most in debt that they've ever been in history? Like we owe so much money. We owe $1,600 for every $1,000. Yeah. Not everybody, not the smart people. But is our country the same? Just you know, live too high or what? No, because our national debt, the, gov the government's debt, isn't that bad. Ah. The rest of the world, governments were aware. Our guys did this in the early 90s. Remember, we had trillions that we were still rich. And then, we bit the bullet, Chrétien, those boys, yeah, yeah, and we got through it, and now we had to go a little bit back in debt because of the recession, but you know, we have the great Stephen Harper at the helm, the great economist, and uh, he's steering us through the economic shoals just perfectly. Watch out for that one over there to the right, woo! <laughs> That's true, we've gotten through this thing amazingly well. Okay, now here's another one, and I like this one. You know, Mayor Mandel always says it's the best city and the best province and the best country well, in the world. Well, that was Bill Smith. I thought it was Mandel. Okay, sorry, Mandel, uh, Mayor Mandel uh, was Bill Smith, according to Graham. He knows. Is it really? I mean, people have never lived anywhere else. We take this place for granted, but are we really kind of in an insulated economic age of some sort? Yes. Now, the, the thing is, we don't particularly have a great countryside. We don't have lakes. No we don't ocean. have the ocean. Yeah. We have jobs. Ah. We have great jobs. You can buy the, the, the bang for your buck for a house in this town is practically unparalleled in the whole world. In other words, lots of people are making 80, 90,000 a year. Lots of dual income families are making 100, and they can buy a house for 400 grand. Yeah. You cannot do that. You go to, you go to Calgary or Vancouver or, or Toronto. You're paying seven hundred thousand for the same house. Okay, so and you're making just as much money, and you got a great educational system. So, in terms of, of of raising a family, it doesn't get much better. Fantastic. So, really, what you're saying is, everyone out there, be grateful you live in Edmonton. Is that true? You know, mosquitoes and all, a few potholes. What the heck? Long, cold winter sometimes. Although not this last winter. <laughs> that was God's gift back to us for the winter before. It sounds so trite. Yes. But it really is true. You will not find a, a better eye of the storm economically than here in Edmonton in 2012. Now, we did have 1982 to 19, 2005. That was a long, tough haul. Yeah. Right? But now we're on top of our game and we really are one of the best sized, mid sized cities in the world to live in. Okay, fantastic. Well, we're wrapping it up. That's it. Graham's comments on what's happening in Edmonton and around the world. Of course, catch Graham in the Edmonton Sun every weekend. Every weekend, Saturdays, there page you, seven. There you go, page seven for his economic views uh, written for the layman, he tells me. And we're doing lunch at Chianti's, and we'll see you next time. You eat all the calamari again. I always do. You always eat all the calamari. I've already had lunch. Okay. <laughs>